Hey everyone, there's an important update available for the iOS shortcut I wrote, which allows you to calculate estimated range for your SE. I fixed a calculation error and added some nice features for capturing and logging your range data. So let's get straight to the good stuff, and as always, welcome to Mini SE in Focus. I'm actually getting enough viewing hours on this channel to qualify for monetization on my videos, but I still fall short based on subscriber count. This is the first time I've ever asked in one of my videos, but if you would click on subscribe, I just think it would be a fun milestone to reach. Thanks. But back to the topic. There was a bug in the original version I posted on my range video. Special thanks to Puppethead at the Inside EVs forum for pointing it out. If your starting battery was less than 100%, the calculation was incorrect. I posted an updated version, version 2, a few weeks back in the original video description. In addition to fixing that error, several users on the Inside EVs forum, as well as viewers on this channel, suggested some improvements to the calculator. So now we have version 3 of the shortcut. I want to say a special thanks to these people for helping suggest changes as well as testing the results. Let's take a look at the details. First, I've updated the links in this video description as well as in the original range video with the current versions of the calculator. There are now four versions. You have US miles with weather data, kilometers with weather data, and both of those without weather data. I offer the versions without weather mainly because some users don't like apps like shortcuts needing to access their phone location. Secondly, I added new home screen icons, so now you have a choice of aqua, red, blue, or green. Links to each of these files are in the video descriptions. Whichever version you use, miles or kilometers, you will notice some nice changes. Let's run the miles version with weather data. I first prompt for the reading from your mini's trip computer for the estimated range left, the famous GOM or guessometer. This value is not used in the calculations, it's just used for comparison purposes to evaluate its accuracy. Then it prompts for total miles driven, starting battery percent, and the battery percent at the end of your trip. On the results screen, I added more information than in the previous version, including the data you just entered for mileage and charge. If the starting battery percent is less than 100, I provide two total range calculations, the estimated range from a full charge and the estimated range based on the percentage you actually started the trip with. And finally, I show the calculated miles per kilowatt hour and a comparison of your calculated range left in the battery compared to what the Mini thinks you can do via the GOM. When you touch the Done button, you might notice a short pause as the shortcut gathers some more information. It grabs your local weather conditions for temperature, wind speed, direction, and humidity. It then opens an iOS note and appends this information to the log. This data can be conveniently copied and pasted into a spreadsheet or other document, whatever you want to do with it. You can freeze frame the video here if you want to see this sample list of data. Please note that you will have to allow some permissions on your iOS device for the Shortcut and Notes apps, which I'll show you shortly. Let's walk through setting up the new version of the Shortcut and get it running on your device. First, open the iOS Notes app and create a new note. The title of this note must be Mini SE Range History. This is how the Range Shortcut knows which note to append data to. Next, open the video description and choose which icon you want to use for the shortcut. Click the Google Shared link and save the photo to your device in the Files app. I also tried saving the icon file to the Photos app, but I got inconsistent results on different devices. On some devices, when I tried to assign that photo to my shortcut, the icon photo was stretched and distorted. I had better luck saving it to Files. The next step is to save the shortcut itself to your device. Click on the shortcut link in this video or the range video, selecting whether you use miles or kilometers. In this example, we will set up the miles version with weather data. On the browser window, just click Get Shortcut. This opens the Shortcuts app, where you can then click the Add button. Touch the All Shortcuts link on the left to see the newly saved shortcut. The next step is to run the shortcut once from within the Shortcuts app to properly set the app location permissions. Enter your drive information like normal, and after you click on Done, 
you should get the iOS location sharing prompt. I prefer to select allow while using the app to save on battery. Then a second prompt will display asking permissions for shortcuts to write data to iOS notes. Here you want to select always allow. The final step is to add the shortcut to your home screen. Click on the three dot button on the shortcut icon to open the contents of the shortcut. Then click on the share button, the box with the up arrow, and select add to home screen. Touch the icon on the lower part of the window to change it. If you saved it in the files app, then you would select choose files. And if you saved it to the photo app, select choose photo. Find the icon file and select it. You can also shorten or change the name that appears under the icon in this screen and click Add to save that change and click Done to close the shortcut. The shortcut should then appear on your phone's menu. And that's it. Please comment if you have any... Hang on. You're handing me a piece of paper. What is this, 1992? Uh, I'm being told that we have late-breaking information to add. Apparently this shortcut will run on Apple Watch. Is this for real? Has it been verified? I will not be responsible for spreading. Okay. Did you see it? Okay. Uh, apparently we have video confirming that this shortcut runs on Apple Watch with some limitations. Let's check the feed. Okay. There looks like a Series 7 watch there. There's the shortcuts app. There's the calculator. Okay, it looks like it's not prompting with the actual questions. But I guess if you had the order memorized, then you could still enter the data, it looks like. That would be starting battery percent. Next should be ending battery percent. Oh, looks like we have a fat finger there. Needs to do a decimal. There you go. Go, Johnny, go. And let's see. Yes! Okay, there's the results screen. That looks pretty good. That's incredible, actually. Um, the only other information I'm showing here is that it won't display iOS notes on your watch, but the data gets logged anyway. So this is an amazing find for SC drivers like me too lazy to pull their phones out of their pockets. You heard it here first. Okay, now that's really it. Please comment if you have any issues, suggestions, or problems getting this set up. I would like to emphasize that calculating range on the Mini SE is not required. It is nice to have if you're taking a long road trip with limited charging locations. This is just an extra tool in your EV bag, but day to day I just drive my Mini SE and have fun.